Hey everyone, Karen here, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I am bringing you my empties for the month of May. There's also a few declutters. Um, it is scarce, but the reason I'm filming um, is because I also wanted to introduce the kind of plan that I am putting in place to get my spending and my collection under control. So we are going to talk about the products first and then at the end of the video, I will talk to you about the plan that I am doing. So the first thing I have, they're kind of sticking together, is two of these Pure Leaf Watermelon Energizing Sheet Masks. I have a ton of these. These are actually in my 50 Shades of Pink Project Pan. So when I finally, finally record that update slash intro, <laughs> you will see these again. The next thing I have, and this actually didn't work super, super well for me. This is the Moroccan Oil Color Depositing Mask in Cocoa. This is just the sample size. This is $7. Um, I wasn't overly impressed because I feel like you can still see like a lot of my blonde highlights that I had from before and my hair grows so stinking fast that I just, I didn't feel like it did for me what it does for other people. Um, and when I say my hair grows fast, I'm talking in less than a year ago, my hair was down to here. I cut everything off and I have inches worth of length on my hair already. <sighs> like it's kind of a blessing and a curse. <laughs> it's nice that it grows quickly, but at the same turn, it's, if I get colors, especially like the fun colors, I need maintenance way, way more often than someone's who, hair who doesn't grow as easily. Like my nails, I can cut these and within a week or two, I'm gonna have to cut them again. <clears throat> Anyways, totally off topic. Cotton rounds, nothing special there. I have this little sample of the Kula Organic BB Cream. This was in the shade Golden. I liked this, I really, really liked this, but the shade, the shade was way, way, way too dark for me. Let's see if I can actually, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything out. See if I can do this without making a mess. Yeah, no, there's nothing coming out. But yes, this shade was way, way, way too dark. But I did like the formula and I would actually consider repurchasing this. Um, but I want to try, once I finish the one that I have, I actually want to try the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer first. Sorry, my throat is so scratchy right now. The freaking allergies are killing me. This next one, I'm so excited about this. I've been working on this thing forever. I'm just so inconsistent with it. This is the Revival Labs Rose Water Facial Spray with rose extract, aloe, herbs, and hyaluronic acid. I used this obviously as a toner. It says that you could use it um, after like makeup application and stuff, but I actually didn't even really, I don't think I'd be able to, oh, apparently there's enough in there. Like, do you see how aggressive that spray is? Yeah, no thank you. I'm not spraying that on my face. I actually sprayed it onto cotton rounds um, when I went to use it because it just kind of, it like attacks your face. All right. So I have three more empties. Two of them are sample sizes. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Brow Powder, Brow Power, not powder, power <laughs> in the shade Universal Taupe. Um, and it's, whoop completely gone. There's nothing left in there. What little bit was left in there actually fell out. So that one is done. I have the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. This was in my Monochromatic Pad Project 
can for May. Um, the color for May was orange. I really, really, really liked this. And once I get through some of the million containers of skincare that I have, I would totally repurchase it. The next thing is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I got this in a Sephora Play before they canceled Sephora Play. Um, and it's completely, I, like, I loved this. Absolutely love this. I'm using an Essence one right now. But once both of those are done, I actually kind of want to try the Milani eyeshadow primer. And then the last three things are liquid lipsticks, which I pretty much never wear anymore. This is the Adess High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I don't even see a color on here. I got this in a BoxyCharm forever ago, but yeah this one went they went bad this one is an Ofra one in the shade Verona also from a boxy charm also went bad and that other than that I mean it's brown I I don't typically wear brown lipsticks I don't find them flattering I am trying to branch out and try more but and then this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade catnip I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. And that one for sure went bad. So that's it. <laughs> that is everything for my empties and declutters for the month of May. Um, but as I said at the beginning, I am implementing a low buy. And I have been watching Paula at a beauty guru made me do it for years now. And she started her low buy I want to say it was about 18 months ago and she has a two out one in system so if I want one lipstick I need to use two products they do not necessarily have to be lipsticks my categories are they're not category specific so I could finish a lipstick and <clears throat> what is this rose spray and I can buy a pencil for it you know that is along the lines of where I am going I currently have subscription boxes for now my subscription boxes are not going to count only because my husband gifted them to me over the last few holidays like Mother's Day Christmas and there was one more time I don't remember what it was um, Oh, Ipsy was an early birthday present, but he paid for the whole year. So I have all of these coming for the next year. Um, I have BoxyCharm, I have Allure, and I have Ipsy. Um, so those are not going to count as incoming products, but obviously they'll count towards my empties. Um, Full-size products will give me one point towards my credits. Uh, sample size products, especially ones like these where they take a while, these will do half point. Um, and just because <clears throat> I have a ton of sheet masks right now, and I may reassess this in the long run, I don't know. Um, anything like this, like the sheet masks or the color masks, things that are single use products, I give myself a quarter of a point. So every four of these will give me one point towards purchasing something. Um, I am following suit with her on the eyeshadows. So each pan is considered an individual product. So say I wanted to get another Too Faced palette. This one has 18 shades in it. 18 shades. Okay, so for an 18 pan palette, I would need to have 36 empties. Whew, sweet baby Jesus, that is a lot. Um, but I have gotten crazy. I was supposed to be on a no buy this year. Like, we're, we're gonna get real here. I was supposed to be on a no buy, and I did really good for a couple of months, and then, I don't know what it was, but everything kind of just went downhill from there. 
I have brought so many eyeshadow palettes into my collection. Like these little e.l.f. quads, the bite size palettes, I purchased every single one. So that's eight little things right there. I got the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette, the Mini Retro palette. I got Urban Decay Naked Honey and Naked Cherry recently because they were 50% off. <sighs> Who can pass up on 50% off? And I got the Persona Identity palette and I got lipsticks and lip gloss. Like, I, I, mean, I have brought so much stuff in that it's insane, especially because I'm not even like consistently wearing makeup. So my first goal is to get more consistent in wearing my makeup, using my products. And even if I'm not wearing my makeup, I need to get better about my skincare. I have been slacking so, so badly. Um, so I am hoping that this plan will kind of encompass everything. It's going to encourage me to use the products that I already have in order to purchase the products that I want to try. Um, so that, that's kind of where I'm at on that. Um, if I am repurchasing something that is an absolute staple, it will not count towards my purchases. And this is like if I run out of all of my cleansing balms and I need a first step, a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil or something like that to get my makeup off and I have nothing else that will do that job, I can purchase that. And it is, it'll be up to my discretion as to whether or not those points come out of the bank as, as Paula likes to call it. She calls it her low buy bank. Um, so yeah, that is where I am at with that. I am going to kind of have to play around with things and find out what works best for me. I do know that once the subscription, the year subscriptions are over, um, I will probably cancel at least BoxyCharm just because I get so many full size products and it's you don't even always like what you get and I'm very open-minded about it I am willing to try anything I have found some real gems in my boxy charms but I've also found like some real duds um, I love ipsy because it's samples it's something that I know that I will finish 90% of the time and if I really 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 like it I can go and repurchase it if I have the credits to repurchase it instead of trying a full size and then like not loving it, if that makes sense. But anyways, I feel like I am rambling. <laughs> that is everything that I have for you today. If you are doing a no buy or a low buy or you're following Paula's plan or you have your own plan. Drop it in the comments below. I would love to kind of have some support and see what other people are doing. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. And have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.